out for the perimeter and tried to block a shot. Now Downey, his first free throw of the day. He's 80.4% for the year, and with that one, has made his last 11. Now, if he makes this, we're going to have a three-point game. And Cincinnati is probably going to look to foul when they get the ball over half court. That worked against West Virginia uh -oh, over the weekend. The... He made one out of two. Oh, and why you oh, he grabbed McNamara. They had a foul yeah. to give. That's the six-team foul. Jim Beheim says, wait a minute, that's an intentional foul. But well, that's the six, so the next one, Syracuse will shoot. Get your bigs on the glass. And again, good coaching by Kennedy. He had his team prepared in that situation to give the foul. McNamara, a three-point roll! a senior hit a three-point runner Andy Kennedy wants to make sure it was a three it looks like it from our vantage point and with point three to go Syracuse keeping its NCAA hopes alive on the runner by McNamara they'll go to make sure that Syracuse has the lead but barring a miracle Syracuse will keep those hopes alive just an incredible play by Jerry McNamara. Guarded closely. Tough to tell from that angle, but we had a good vantage point because we're closer to that end of the court than the other. And McNamara more or less right in front of us. And it looked like he took off from beyond the light blue line that marks the college three-point line here at this Madison should, Square Garden. This should be a better one, Sean. Yep, yep that's legal. How about this kid? The two pick and rolls to get him going, the pass, this, the protection of the dribble in traffic. This is a lot of strength right here. Great players come up with big. That's James Ray. No, they come up with big plays at crucial time. And a lot of steps there, too. You could have made an argument that that was a little bit of a walk. Yeah. Well, was it or wasn't it? The three? You no, know, it was no. a walk. It, look, it was close to me. I mean, I think you could have called it. Let's see again. They're going to also look at the clock to see if they'll put some time back for Cincinnati. McNamara was one for eight. This half shooting with some other sloppy plays as well. The crowd chanting Jerry. You heard the roar when they announced it is a three. Syracuse has the lead, and they put point five up, which makes a difference. Sure, you can catch and turn and shoot so you got to let's see what they're looking to throw the lob pass the long one they're not going to guard not the inbounder white that is a big decision so do you or don't you i remember would. that two game i would put somebody yeah. on the ball i mean reasonable yeah. minds can differ on that in, in coaching strategy but i'd put somebody on the ball and make that pass that much more difficult and the big thing too is on that long pass you do not want to foul if you're syracuse you want to go straight up. A lot of guys will go for the ball, lean over somebody, and give them the opponent an opportunity. You see, that that's funny. I think you go for the ball. Well, if the half. guy's in front of you, though, you can't. No, I, I'm not saying foul. What I'm saying is when that ball's in the air, that's a loose ball. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, I was an assistant on the bench in that Duke-Kentucky mm -hmm. game in 92, and Kentucky laid back. Mm -hmm. And I learned from that game, when that ball is in the air, that's a well, loose ball, go get it. Well, I also saw Wake Forest play Yale in the NCAA is the same situation and they fouled to give Wake an opportunity and eventually went to the final four with Billy Packer Lenny Chapel. again will not guard the inbounder out of the timeout White will throw it in all five Syracuse defenders back at their defensive end of the court Muhammad from half court a heave oh! the front rim wow great design by Kennedy and Jihad Muhammad he from just inside half court hit the front rim right on line. Cincinnati typically battles right to the very end and comes up literally an inch or two short. Whew, my goodness. Well, that was right on line. So now Cincinnati ends the regular and conference tournament schedule at 19 and 12. And they'll await their fate from the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee. And Syracuse keeps its hopes alive. They go to 20 and 11 with a date with Connecticut tomorrow night, which is also, Bill, a great opportunity.